Are you ready? Hey, happy Friday, peeps. Hopefully you guys have had a good day and hopefully you guys are going to have a good weekend. Uh, just come back tomorrow, 1 p.m. for Above the Rim. We got a good one. We're talking bad boys. We're talking going to work Pistons. Uh, but today, we're talking about the current Pistons. And right now, there's a lot of speculation on who we're, who we're going to be taking in the draft. And, you know, it's kind of, kind of the time of the year that's where we're, where we're at with the short sports. So, I don't know where I want to start with this one. I'm not saying ESPN doesn't know what they're doing, but this is terrible. If Obi Toppin or Killian Hayes are on the board at five, if the Pistons stay there, I don't see how they can pass either one of them. If Lamelo or um, any of them is gone, and, I, and just this whole mock, just outside the Pistons, this one's not very good. I don't know why Cleveland would be taking Wiseman especially since they have Andre who's going to be opting into his contract. And, you know, I'm, I don't know if Tristan Thompson is going to be there or not, but we got a lot of money tied into it. They really need to get a small forward. If not, they need to trade Andre or they need to trade one of the two point guards that they got. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not expecting anything different from ESPN or any of the other media platforms. You know, they never give the business enough respect. You know, even if you're watching NBA TV right now, they're playing games on TV, like LeBron in the final, or not the final, but the playoffs, where he blew up on us at home. Game seven of San Antonio. This, all these games where we keep losing, you know, they don't ever want to play any of our games. So Fox Sports had to take that in their own own hands and finally today put on in the game one of the 04 finals. So thank you for that. The Pistons, man, I'm not trying to knock the guy they have us taking because he's a good player. And I'm not going to try to pronounce his name because I know I just butcher it and you guys would make fun of me for it. But I think the Pistons could move up in this draft if they don't get a top three pick. I think that Lonzo, not Lonzo, Lamelo is the guy that most of the fans are going to want. You know, I think it's between him and Hayes realistically for the Pistons because uh, Edwards is not going to be there. A lot of people are starting to say Cole Anthony. I think between Hayes and Toppin and Melo, one of those guys is going to be there wherever we're at, and we're going to take that person. One of those three guys. I think that's one of our picks. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys can see this from a different perspective. If, if you do, leave that down in the comments. Uh, I just got a quick one for you guys, man. I just... ESPN just... You, you have a lot of time to do homework right now. And I don't think you really did that. So I'm disappointed in you, ESPN. You're supposed to be better than us. And you just, you're dropping the ball. A lot of people are making fun of this one. Not just Pistons fans. But if you guys like it, leave it down in the comments. If not, show me what you would trade uh, or exchange on that. Uh, give me some of your own mock drafts if you must. So leave it down in the comments. Instagram, Twitter, DSM in the description. See you guys tomorrow for Above the Rim. Peace.